On Edo Perak Hay Mishnah Gimel, third Mishnah in the fifth chapter of Sechet Edo. We're continuing the list of t- different tana- the list of different Tanaim about the Kule Beit Shammai and Chume Beit Hillel. Now Rabbi Rabbi Shmuel's list. Rabbi Shmuel Omer Shlosha Dvari Mi Kule Beit Shammai Umi Chume Beit Hillel. There were three items that were the leniencies of Beit Shammai and the extremities of Beit Hillel. And it's really interesting wondering if if all these lists exist, why did Rabbi, why did each Tana have a different list? Why Rabbi Shmuel this one, Rabbi Yossi? Why weren't in the, the major list? I really don't know. I'm not sure. If you have ideas, email me at rspolter at gmail.com. And we'll dedicate our learning. The memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Halma. Let's go back to our Mishnah. Okay, so what is the list? Kohelet eno mitameta yadayim kidibe beit shamay. Beit is mekil, they said. Kohelet is not mitame yadayim. Why? So they would have, remember, they had books. Their books were not books. They were scrolls. So, so the Gemara in Shabbat says, that the Chazal made a They said that every uh, holy book was Tamei Tanaim, every holy scroll. Why? Because when people, they assumed that uh, the things were, that were holy had to be stored together. So they used to store their truma together with their books, with their holy books, the truma, and then they would store them in a special place or whatever. But of course, what happened? Uh, the mice got, found the food, and then they would eat through the books also. So the Chazal had a problem. So they say, you know what? We'll make a and say that we'll make a decree and say that any... Any uh, holy book is metame. So therefore, you, they would never put the food together with it, and that solved that problem to whatever degree. So what about the book of Kohelet, the book of Ecclesiastes? It's a book written by Shlomo Hamela. So Beit Shammai said, Kohelet eno metame tayadayim. Why? Chachmato sha Shlomo hi. Velo birach ha-kodesh It's the Shlomo's wisdom, but they didn't feel, I, actually, they, they, didn't, they didn't feel it was part of the biblical canon. It should not be preserved. It's a holy book. Nice! But, but Beit Hillel, Beit Hillel says, no, metame tayadayim. Kohelet, Beit Hillel says, is Betam Yedayim, is considered a holy book, and uh, we follow Beit Hillel. It's interesting, their Chumra is as a result of their, how they felt about the, the Kedusha, the holiness of the book. Next, Mechatat She'asu Mitzvatam. So the Halacha is that if you have Mechatat, unused waters of the, that were prepared for the Para Aduma, Torah says, if you touch on Ogebehem, a person who touches the water of Para Aduma that you sprinkle, usually the sprinkle to make somebody Tahor. So that the 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 irony or the paradox of the of the mechatat is that before you sprinkle it, if somebody touches it, it's mitame. But if you sprinkle it on the person who's tummy, it makes you tahor. But what about mechatat she'asum mitzvatam? Let's say you sprinkled it on the guy and then it splashed on somebody else. Okay. La chashi zu atamatame im natfumi gufosh agabe adam or agabe kiddush. Let's say the water is dripping off and it drips on somebody else. Beit Shammai mitaharim. Beit Shammai says once it's used, it no longer can make other people tamei. Or Beit Hillel mitamein. Beit Hillel says no, it's still tamei. Once tamei, always tamei. Final halacha: ketzach. Ketzach. Let's look at the at the jastro. Ketzach is black cumin. Okay. Um, he, he that didn't have a jastro bonus. Oh, it's ours. Uksin. It's from uksin, I guess. He has a habit of eating using black cumin. Will never have pain in the stomach. Black cumin is one of 60 poisonous drugs. So people used to eat this stuff, even though it was poisonous. Why? Okay. Uh, they used to put it, put it in their bread. Because people thought that this black cumin was, had health benefits. They actually think that today. Okay. Black cumin, black seed oil benefits. Yeah, I mean, so I guess it's not, they don't think it's poisonous anymore, but back then they considered it poisonous. So the question is, is it food? Or is it a poison? If it's food, then it's it's mitame it can become tame. So Beit Shammai mitahari Beit Shammai says, yeah, people have to put it in food for health benefits, but it's not a food, so therefore it's mitamin mitaharin. It's not tame. Beit Hillel mitame Beit Hillel says that people eat it, so it can become tame as dinner food. Maso, the same machloket, meaning if you felt that it's tahor, it's not food, you don't have to take off maaser. Whereas Beit Hillel says no, it is mitame, and therefore you do have to take off maaser. Stop here. Wishing you a good day.